In this tutorial, you're going to learn how to Nicolas Cageify your family portrait. I'm like a prickly pear. I saw this picture on Instagram of like this 80s family and all their faces were swapped out with Nicolas Cage's face and I died. I sent it to everyone I know and one of my friends texted me back and she was like, please tell me this is your next tutorial. And I said, Yes, it is. It has to be. This is hilarious. And not only is it funny, but there are a lot of cool things that you can learn just by doing this. Photoshop introduced something called Auto Blend Layers. We're gonna cut out Nicolas Cage's face and we're gonna slap it on to everybody's face in the photo. And then we're gonna use this Auto Blend Layers to blend it all seamlessly together, just in one click. It's quick, it's hilarious. So without further ado, let's go. All right, so this here is my lovely little family. This is my lovely little self right here. This is my mommy, my sister, and my brother. So we're gonna make up for the lack of dad in this photo by turning everyone into Nicolas Cage. Dad, we all wish we had. So in order to do that, I'm gonna open up my Explorer here and navigate on over to the cage. I'm just gonna drop him in there. Any minute. All right, so we got the cage. We got that gorgeous face. I'm just gonna scale it down a bit. I'm gonna hold Alt as I click on this corner here and drag it on in. I'm just gonna move it up. And first I'm gonna cover mom's face. I'm gonna hold Alt as I uh, roll the middle mouse wheel in. And I'm gonna bring the opacity on this layer down a bit, just to like 70 or so, so I can see uh, what's going on underneath Nicolas Cage's face. All right, so I need to angle it a bit. I'm just gonna roughly line up the features here. What I've realized is the most important thing is kind of the mouth. Like you don't want the mouth to be too low because then the chin just looks weird and it just, it doesn't work. So, I mean, the eyes is, are not as important as the mouth. You just kind of want them in the, around about the same area. But yeah, just make sure that mouth is not too low. All right, I'm gonna bring the opacity back up. So I'm just gonna come over here to my lasso tool and I'm gonna make sure that the feather is at zero pixels. Make sure you have anti-alias selected and you've just got the new selection square selected. And now I'm just gonna lasso out Nicolas Cage's face. Just the features though. I don't want any of the outlines of his face or his ears or anything like that. I just want the features of his face. Now that we have that selection, we're gonna come down over here in the layers panel and we're going to add a layer mask. I feel like that's pretty good. I might hit Control or Command T and angle it a bit. Yeah, I'm gonna hold Alt or Option and scroll my middle mouse wheel out, take a look. And now I'm gonna name this layer Mommy Cage. I'm gonna hit Control or Command J to duplicate that layer. And I'm gonna call this one Sister Cage. Hit Control or Command T. And I'm gonna move this over to my sister's face. And I'm gonna scale this in, bring it down around about the size of her little face. That's pretty good. Yeah. I might bring the opacity down on this one too, just to kind of look and see where I'm at with things. Kind of line up. You know, this is just a matter of whatever portrait you're working on. You'll just kind of have to feel that out for yourself. Let's bring the opacity back up there. And let's go ahead. And now I'm just panning around with the space bar. I'm going to duplicate Sister Cage and double click to rename it Brother Cage. Control and Command T. And hold the space bar and drag over here and just move this on over. Brother Cage. I'm just gonna move this up a bit. Again, I'm just really trying to align the mouth on this one. I've just found that that's what looks most natural, if you will. <laughs> Not that there's anything natural about this. Bring the opacity back up. Pan on down to my little face. I'm gonna duplicate the brother cage layer by hitting Control or Command J. And I'm gonna double click to rename that Megan Cage. Control or Command T. Bring that guy on down. Hover over one of the points to get that curved arrow and twist it on over. Now I might take a look underneath here and see what's going on. Yeah, let's line this up way better. I'm gonna make this just a little bit bigger and I'm gonna click and bring the opacity back up. Now let's zoom out hit control or command zero. Wow, looking good. We want everything to just blend a lot better. And there's a really cool way that you can do this in Photoshop. A simple little action that you can do to merge this all together. I'm going to unlock the background layer here and I'm gonna click on mommy cage and hold down shift and come all the way up and click on Megan cage. And I'm gonna hit control E and that will merge all of those layers together. Now I'm going to hit control or command and I'm gonna click on this layer within the layer thumbnail to select all of my little faces. And now I just wanna bring in that selection a tiny bit and you're gonna see why here in a second. So I'm gonna come up here to select, modify, contract, and I'm gonna contract it by about five pixels. Just hit okay. 
and you'll see that that just brought my selection in so I have this border around the selection that's just kind of like a safety border for what I'm about to do so I've got that selection I'm going to hit that bottom layer and I'm going to invert this selection to create a mask I hit control mm -hmm. command shift and I and if I click on the add layer mask button just to create a mask if you hit the eyeball here on the call this the cage is hit the eyeball and you'll see that I've just cut out the faces beneath the Nicolas Cage faces. It's just the way you got to do it. You got to contract the selection. You got to cut out that selection. And then we're going to have the cages selected, all those cage faces, and then hit control, get that background layer so that you have them both selected. Come up here to edit and this is where the magic is about to happen. Click on auto blend layers. Make sure you have panorama selected and you got both these guys down here selected. Seamless tones and colors, which is what we want and the content aware fill transparent areas, which is those transparent areas that we cut out of their faces. It's what we want too. So we're gonna hit okay. Watch this. Voila! Look at that. Photoshop has done a pretty darn good job at matching those colors and tones. But if you really want to perfect it, you can come in here, zoom on in, and hit S or come over here to the clone stamp tool. Make sure you just got current layer on your sample. If you haven't used the clone stamp tool before, I'm not going to get into a lot of detail on how to do that here. I'm just going to stamp out the parts that make it look not so seamless. Oh god, this is horrifying. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Mine is the worst. I smooth this baby out. So yeah, I mean, <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I hit controller command zero to kind of take a step back and admire your masterpiece. Because there it is, folks. You and Nicholas Cageified your family photo. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. I hope you found it useful. And I hope you can take the techniques that you just learned to embarrass your family by swapping out their faces with Nicolas Cage's face. Or The Rock would be funny. Rosie O'Donnell, that'd be funny. Which celebrity do you think would be funny to slap onto your family portrait? Leave a comment below, let me know. Anyway, this was just a fun one. It's great spending this time with you. I hope to see you again next time.